your quickest lap in this session. Yeah, guys, again, this is all first take, right? And um, I'm not an alien. It's, it's it just works. That's just good. Dropping from one car into another one. 50 years between them. Well, no problem. Every car talks to you in a language I understand. Wow. So good. Wow. Hallelujah for all Automobilista 2 aficionados. Version 1.5 is finally out, coming with a complete physics overhaul for all cars except some cards. Razer have put in a lot of effort, passion and of course knowledge, eradicating a persistent bug in the tire model and revised the physics tires of all car classes, all models in the game. On their forum there is a huge article about the intricacies and complexity of this endeavor developing new physics. For me as mainly a driver who's not a real tech nerd, it's much too technical. But on the other hand, I'm really pleased to see how transparent they are in their communication, always looking for feedback, understanding and looking to communicate with the players. They also put a short video up on YouTube showcasing the tire deformation model, which is of course one of the main features of this update. It's a major one, it may be a milestone, and today this is my first impressions of version 1.5, which features some of my most favorite cars, which now also profit from the new update. There are a lot more things coming with this update, a completely new DLC of the Adrenaline Pack, which heavily focuses on dirt racing, as well as further improvements to the AI, the drivelines, strategy, and also regarding wet weather racing. But that will be something for future videos. Today I will just focus on racing cars I know quite well, have known quite well, on dry tracks. Yep, here I am in my beloved Go. McLaren. Ooh, yeah. As always, very, oh, very tight. In La Sauce. This is default setup. Oh. On your right. On yep. Your right. Oh, and off track for the first time. Come on, Timo. Never get the start. Just get stuck in, mate. Ah, uh, no problem. Give me a chance. Mm hmm. My first impressions are that the driving feel is more direct. Car feels even more agile. Oh yeah, it seems to be working more. Oh yeah, this is a lot of fun. Car right. Oh. Right. Ooh yeah. Lucky me. Oh, that's not just minor, Jim. Too many lockups. I can feel the tires scrub more. Guys, this is my first drive in the GT1s for left. quite a long time. And the good thing is, I feel Oh, from the get-go, I feel at home here. Another good thing, of course, is the amount of, of feedback of comprehensible information I'm getting from the game. Especially here from, I think it's the tires mainly. As always, it can even be more there as I'm having all the force feedback 
at the moment in my wheel. I of course do not have any under my butt. What would be a major factor in the real car? But let's not talk about what's not here, but what is here and what Razor has done to improve the driving experience. And for me, as you can see... Oh! Oh, hello! Double yellows and a big crash here, big shunt. For me as a single player also, the improvements in AI are crucial. They are still under revision and are getting improved. Right. Let me put it that way. Still there. Play right. And it would of course need more than a, just a first impressions video here by me to make a judgment about that. The good has become even better. I can confirm. I haven't this. I haven't driven this car for half a year or more and I'm wow yeah except for li some mis little mistakes I'll look at the tires they're gone I completely feel at home here and okay, it's over. Good yeah drive. and that's not because I am a an outstanding driver be but because the driving is so comprehensible in my opinion well guys this is this is different it's hard for me to put it into words. It's so much more different than what I felt in the GT1. Well, the, the overall handling of the wheel feels different. Wow. I have read through the developer first notes on the update also what they put out on the forum which was very cool to see Ooh, right a bit too right. technical for me but it really showed how complex not to say complicated the process of optimizing physics is especially if you yeah, sort of buy and inherit an engine and then have to uh, eradicate the bugs like they did. Right side. Car right. This has obviously been a Clear massive right. endeavor. Let's hope that it's also a massive step forward. I okay, Timo. Don't get me wrong, guys. I am impressed here, but I cannot make f final judgments. This is more or less first impressions. And this is the second car I'm driving and also here, I, ca I can tell you, it, this is a, a different feel, a really different feel to what it used to be. I'm hesitating to, of course, to, to use the words better, more immersive. Wah, yeah. Ouch. Or even more realistic. Sorry for that, guys. Bad driving. But I've got the impression that the connectivity, the feedback I'm getting of how the car is behaving has become better. Also, oh, Timo. That's, that's the wrong chicane. Sorry. On your left. But it's actually yeah, quite fun to, to revisit these so familiar series. Now with these new characteristics, yeah, what's also important for me is that the car's behavior is predictable. Yeah, and I think this new patch, this new version goes in, in exactly into that direction. It's only the second car I'm driving, yes, but it's indeed the second time I'm, I'm feeling that. And these are, of course, cars that haven't yet profited from the new physics. But I can already tell that these changes are tangible. How big they are, we will have to see. 
future. Back in time, back to 1974, the Porsche RSR 3.0 from that year. Wow. Laguna Seca. <laughs> yeah. Acceleration top speed is not where that car excels. At least not against these Corvettes here. I remember when I did my status quo video about AMS2 when this car came out two years ago, one and a half years ago. And I wasn't really happy with the, the direction Razor were going at that time. The car was okay, but somewhat numb back then. It's come a long way, and it's so much better now. And it's not because I changed my equipment or became a better driver. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Even with these old cars, uh, the level of precision I can put in and get out of the car, the amount of detail, wow, that's, that's really, really cool. I haven't driven this one in real life, guys, so my reference is not bad. I've, what I've driven is the uh, Porsche Targa, no, the 911 SC from 1983 and well apart from the fact that you have to even work much more and it's not as comfortable the rear car as here in my sim rig the overall feel is at least similar i can relate yeah that, that that's cool every input here getting a bit early on the throttle it's really tangible. Oh man, this is cool. This is cool. Even these, yeah, very old classes where I, from time to time, stumbled of relating to them. The vintage classes, this one here. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. That's a lot of fun, guys. That's a lot of fun. This is first dry. I can commentate without much practices. Feel what the car is doing. That's cool. Go, go, go. Ha ha. Oh yeah, there's a smile on my face. That's so good. Mmm. <laughs> AI skill is also 100 here. I seem to be a bit faster. Right side, play right. Oh man. Yep, that's just good. Oh, ouch. My impression is that so far all of the cars I've driven here have gotten yeah, even more drivable, even more comprehensible. And my connectivity has even increased. I like it when cars are predictable. Yeah, when I can feel every little change on my grip. Whoa. If that progresses gradually and predictable, if I can an anticipate the car's behavior. Yeah, so it's lap two and now they're definitely up to speed. I was due to the first lap where the AI had, had to sort the leader has just done its code. Yeah, guys, again, this is all first take, right? 
and um, I'm not an alien. It's, it's it just works. That's just good. Dropping from one car into another one. Fifty years between them. Well, no problem. Every car talks to you in a language I understand. Wow. So good. Wow. Yeah, guys. These are my first impressions of Automobilista version 1.5. Is it another step forward? Yes. A big one. After driving four cars here and another 567, which already had the new physics, which came with the 1.4.8 update, I can say that they have done an impressive job of improving the physics of all cars that I've driven so far. Is it a new milestone? Time will tell, but I think it's definitely more than just a marketing term here. I'm pretty imp impressed. And as I said, no matter what car I jumped in, be it here a modern DPI, a very old classic touring car, or anything in between, I can immediately relate to these cars, feel very connected. For me, this is a big, big step forward, guys. It's a massive update, and I haven't even touched upon the new contents, which is uh, the, the dirt driving, so to say. This video, my first impressions, is heavily based on the, let's call them, physics update, the new handling of the cars. I want it to be a rather short one, and I will focus on the other aspects of the update, be it AI, drive lines, wet driving, longer races, and so forth in future videos. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, ring that bell, whatever, I everything's appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good time. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.